Alright, this is going to be a video of this 52-inch Hampton Bay brand Campbell ceiling fan I got at Habitat Restore. I got it because I volunteer there, and what I do for them is refurbish ceiling fans that receive better nation, and make them more sellable than how they originally came in. Now, uh, these are part of a promotional offer here in Canada. Um, these cost something like uh, $79.88, and you really got to wonder uh, what they're going to cheapen on for that price. But surprisingly, considering how little they cost, they aren't too bad. Now, uh, it's available in three finishes. This one is the Mediterranean Bronze. It's also sold in matte white and brushed nickel. I'm uh, going to demonstrate this for you guys here and start with the light kit. And see that works. It does include a remote control, by the way, which is kind of cheap. I really don't like the remote on it, but the rest of the fan isn't uh, too bad, like I said. And it does have a dimmer function for the light. So I'll show you that. For some reason it does that once in a while. It just shuts off. But it does dim. It just takes a little bit of time. And back to full brightness. Turn that off. Now I'm going to show the fan running. And begin with the high speed. If anyone wants to know the exact information about RPM, CFM, amps and watts, the fan uses on each speed and that kind of thing, it can all be found in the description below because Hampton Bay was kind enough to provide that with the box. Now I must say this is a um, actually pretty well performing fan other than the slight startup hum it's rather quiet and also pushes a decent amount of air. Uh, like I said I really was not expecting this for such a cheap costing fan. I'd say it could probably cool a large room no problem actually. Gonna go to medium speed now. And there is uh, quite a slowdown between medium and high. I don't really like how there's such a big gap there, but it's not a huge deal, I guess. And finally, for low, just with the fan and light on running simultaneously. This is probably gonna go. Um, even though I have this information in the description already, it's probably going to go somewhere like 75 RPM. And the reason I'm mentioning that is because I really like uh, low speeds uh, that spin about this fast because, uh, you know, not too slow, but also uh, gives just enough air. So it's uh, quite a nice low, I think. And I'll turn it off now. Stop the blades here. And I'm going to talk about some general information on it. Now, uh, this was actually new in the box, uh, so it had never been uh, assembled before. However, uh, it had really, really bad damage to the motor housing, and that is because it looks like a forklift actually banged into the box. And all the other parts came out fine, but the motor housing really took the brunt of it. And it was actually to the point where it was completely unusable, because if you were to assemble the blades, they would actually rub against the brackets. As you saw earlier, when I turned it on, there's no rubbing anymore, and that is because I unbent the housing as best as I possibly could. But as you can see, it's still far from perfect. At least now it does run and uh, doesn't scrape or anything like that. Another thing is, just if anyone was wondering, Hampton Bay is a Home Depot brand that makes all kinds of uh, furnishings for around the house, but mainly focuses on fans and lighting. Uh, this one, in addition to a lot of their newer models, is made by King of Fans. And I have to say, though, uh, most of their King of Fans models are really not the best quality, including this one, but I'm still uh, quite amazed at uh, how well it performs for the price. Now, one thing I did have quite a large challenge with, and it actually had to do with the assembly, was the fact that uh, they asked you in the instructions to put the remote control receiver in the canopy, because it's a uh, separate canopy remote receiver, and you can notice that there really isn't a lot of space to do so, so even when I tucked up all the wires in the electrical box, uh, it still didn't leave very much room. And I spent about 45 minutes cursing under my breath trying to squeeze everything in. I finally got it, but really you shouldn't have to do that because uh, it's not a very effective way to assemble a remote. So I wish kind of Hampton Bay would have put more consideration to that. But oh well, you get what you get at this price range. Now to talk about the uh, pros and cons of the fan. I really like the fact that it has reversible blades. One side is English oak, which kind of looks like a cheapish walnut. 
And the other side is what they claim is dark cherry, but it looks more like black cherry to me because it's um really actually quite a dark wood and uh, almost black. Another thing I like is the design on the motor housing. It is rather interesting, actually. Uh, not a lot of Hampton Bay fans use this. And also, it does include a light kit, which is removable. Do not provide a blank switch cap for use without. However, if you had one, that could easily be um, installed without light. What I don't like, however, is, like I said, it is super hard to install the remote control receiver. Uh, one good thing, though, is it does give you the option, because it has three wires coming from the fan, if you had separate switches for fan light control, you could easily install this without the remote. And another thing I don't like, of course, is this bent housing. Uh, unfortunately, though, um, it's pretty much unavoidable. Um, it's, you know, of course, it's not Hampton Bay's fault. It was just someone who was careless with the forklift. So I'm not really going to count that as a um, bad part, at least on behalf of the fan itself. Overall, I'd probably have to give this 3 out of 5 stars. It looks pretty nice. Uh, performs actually pretty well. Uh, it is still pretty cheap, but hey, if you're looking for an economy fan and it isn't like going to replace anything good or vintage, this isn't a terrible option. So anyway guys, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and there's lots more to come.